good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, hang on, let me adjust that. How are we doing? Morning, Jamie. How are you? Right, I need to get rid of some of this pencil. Yeah, yeah, good. We're just sort of um, having our usual last minute sort of panic of trying to sort something out for Jack right before stream started. So I forgot to change the title of the stream. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, everything's sorted now. He, um... The Furthering Adventures of Jack's College is... You know, he had all that palaver about school trips and everything. Well, he started back at college and the last two weeks, on a Thursday, he's not had to attend because his teachers are off ill. I don't know why they're off ill. Whether it's COVID or something like that, but they seem to be off all the time and because he studies mechanics the um, the workshops where they actually get to do the hands-on stuff with the cars they're all sort of closed down because they're sort of rebuilding refurbishing them and it was meant to get done over the six week break and of course it hasn't so they can only do classwork but every time they actually go to classes, they can't use any of the Chromebooks because none of the Chromebooks are working. And he's off again today and he's been told, uh, oh, you just need to log into Google Classroom um, and log on to say that you are there. And so, of course, he's gone into Google Classroom and there's no work set and it's just like... The flips, so I've never known a college get so much stuff wrong at once. It's just ridiculous. It's not like it's their first year of learning how to teach students, you know? It's like, come on, people. Sort yourself out. <laughs> Natalie, thank you for your continuing subscription. Um, it's a shame he likes his course, otherwise he'll be loving not having to do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So yeah, hello Natalie, hello, hello. How are you today? I mean, that is the thing, he does love his course and does love what he's doing and I can still see a pencil mark in the eye and I need to get rid of it. But it's just, it's the start of the term. They should have everything ready and they're mucking about. It's really getting an annoying. Um, you've lost your pencil. 
James's stream might have a surprise for you, Natalie. Oh, okay. Ooh, interesting. Oh, you've lost the pencil badge. Oh. a bit darker colour, didn't I? Um, just a bit darker, Draw the pencil badge just for Nat. <laughs> okay. Oops. Hang on, let's get let me get my paper out. Uh, it was a purple pencil, wasn't it? Can you see? Yeah. There you go! <laughs> Jamie for Natalie. There we go. That almost seems like something you would write when you were in school. <laughs> to think all three of us founded, founded this artist all on their lonesome.
Don't forget Haley. <laughs> you will never be for Natalie. It's just the way I wrote it. As soon as I wrote it, I knew what I meant when I wrote it, as in you asked me to draw the crayon for pencil for for Nat. But then as I wrote it, I thought, oh my God, this is like the sort of thing you wrote when you were a child, when you were trying to hope that someone would go out with you or something. But Um, you're against her bullying ways. <laughs> she doesn't have bullying ways. Uh, grey, I need grey. <laughs> for a second to get my dinner turned bre dinner turned brecky what's a dinner turned brecky and you're all on saying that I'm a bully <laughs> no one's a bully is this dinner from last night that you're now having like leftovers for brecky is that what you mean she made multiple people attack me in James's chat just because I didn't like a movie <laughs> What was the movie? Now I need to know what the movie was. What movie didn't you like? Lilo and Stitch. All oh, right, okay. I've never watched Lilo and Stitch, so. Never watched any of the cartoons.
Um, I simply told Emma that you didn't like it. You dug your own hole. <laughs> oh dear. I feel like you have two old brothers. <laughs> what if Stitch was green, had Hulk like powers, and was voiced by. Oh, God, I think you're obsessed! Poor Becca. Keep making me turning her green. Sometimes I feel like your lot's mum. I set up the stream and you come on here and you're, like, you're carrying on a conversation that you had on James's stream. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I feel like I ought to say now, shake hands. Shake hands and apologise to one another. and be friends. <laughs> you said Yoda, Yoda was as bad as Stitch. Yoda is basically a green stitch. But with that, he has the. F I would boot Yoda. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what are you not like? White, white, white. Happier with these eyes. Um, 
Chat is the chaos that counterbalances the calmness of the stream. <laughs> so you're saying it's yin and yang. This is the yin and yang of the stream. Okay. I need yeah this is a bit of brown going out from it it's a little bit better mini scribbler hello hi welcome to the channel Kind of feel that the eyes are nearly right. I just, I just need to add a little bit of extra darkness to this blue. It's more in shadow this side of the eye. I think that's why the colours are just slightly different. I'm good mini scribbler thank you yeah just trying to get these um, these eyes to look right and trying to make everyone in in chat be friends <laughs> no they're all fine honestly they're just having a, a disagreement over Yoda and stitch <laughs> uh, I have to leave I was gonna say unfortunately with these two it's fortunately as I promised to help do some maintenance on the local churchyard okay Natalie well I hope you have um, a good time over there my brother actually does maintenance in a local churchyard he does the uh, gardening and looks after all the flower beds and things like that so yeah he really enjoys it so I hope you do too um, I use regular pencils these are um, let me turn it around uh, Faber Castell Polychromos if I can get it to show Faber Castell Polychromos pencils these are artist grade pencils so I have got pastel pencils as well um, and I do keep meaning to try a bit more with pastels but I haven't <laughs> I haven't not yet I think originally no hang on tell a lie no originally I did actually do one piece of artwork uh, with pastels let me see if I can find it for you hang on oh thanks for the follow mini scribbler Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me find that piece of artwork. I know it's somewhere. A piece that I did that was in pastels. Where did I put it? I think it might be. 
hang on. I have an army of army of supplies elsewhere. Here we go. This was from a long time ago. This was from like four months ago when I first started. I did that, which at the time I was very, very proud of it because it was my first attempt uh, four months ago. And I was very proud of that. But now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, mm, you could do so much better. You could do so much better. But uh, yeah, so that was a pastel. I think I wanted to get more detail and I couldn't get more detail with the pastels that I was using so I went to the coloured pencil to see if that would be better and not have so much mess on the page because with pastels you get the um, like the chalk and the powder and everything everywhere so yeah right now what was I doing? Oh yes, I was working on this little. Just trying to get this light in the eye. Do you have a preference for pastels or pencils? pencils and watercolour pencils. Now I've not tried watercolour pencils at all. I've definitely not tried those. But we have, um, if you want to show me what you've you've drawn, we have a Discord channel. If someone, ah, thank you Jamie. <laughs> there we go. He was ahead of me. Uh, if you want to join the Discord, there's a gallery channel and you can pop your artwork in there for us all to have a look at. We love to see it. If you've drawn any uh, birds, you'll make Jamie very happy. We're going to start drawing a bird on Friday. I'm going to do a love bird. Yawn aren't good enough to show. Oh, don't say that. It doesn't matter. Be proud of what you create. Be proud of what you create and be happy to show it. And just, you know, it's a it's a process, isn't it? So be happy to show your process. Uh, your main artwork is on 3D printed busts with acrylic. Ooh, that sounds really fascinating. I'd love to see it. You're only just starting with pencils. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I only, you know, have to start somewhere. We all start somewhere, don't we? So. Uh, you'll share a bust, more competent with those. Fine, absolutely. Yeah, anything, anything you're happy to share, we'd love to see it. We have quite a few people showing their artwork. We have um, pencil artists. We have uh, people who do uh, lino cutting. Um, what else have we had? Uh, marker pens, ink. So lots of different types of art. So yeah, show away, we'd love to see it.
Right, okay, I think... I think I've got these eyes to where I want them to be. Just need that dark to be... There, yeah. Um... It's all blank. Oh, it shouldn't be. Let me just have a look. Now, if I click on that link, it works for me. Um, so that is... That is the correct link. Oh, hang on. I've just switched off my music now. Hang on. Let me just go back into that. There we go. The chat link worked, the page link didn't. Oh. Well, I don't know what to say then, because I can get it to work for everyone. Oh, everyone else is able to get into it. I'm not technically minded, so I wouldn't know what to do either to, um... to sort that out. I know I'm using a permanent Discord link, so it shouldn't time out. Oh, you're in. Excellent. Good, good, good. That goes down I think the channel link is the old one, not the permanent one. The chat one is the new one. Oh, okay. Right, okay, so I'll go onto the channel later and check that that's the uh, permanent one. Thanks, Faisal. Is reference a random cat or one you know? No, it's just a, a random source picture that I got off Pixabay. Um, you probably know Pixabay, but it's a place where people put down photos that you can use on a, a content free license. So you are allowed to not share the actual photo as something that you can sell or anything, but you're allowed to use the photo to create a new piece of art and then use that piece of art to distribute or sell. So, yeah. I get a lot of my pictures from Pixabay or there are some, there are some Facebook groups, um, free reference photos for artists, things like that, where you can go in and they're happy for you to use their work as as long as 
if you create something from that piece of art that you then show it on that Facebook page and quote the person who you originally got the things from. Ah, adverts. Yeah. Keep forgetting about adverts. Right, and I'll keep those colours out. I need to get my browns and stuff. Hang on. Right. you're back okay so <laughs> what I was saying there is um, I don't know where we got cut off but there are Facebook groups called like free reference photos for artists and things like that and they let you use their art to make your own art and all they ask is that when you do you show that completed piece of art alongside the reference photo that inspired it and thank the content creator, I guess. But there's loads of different groups that have lots of different requirements. So just read the rules. Read the rules. I'm just going to lift off some of this pencil so I can do this nose. Yeah, it's, it's fair. Um, oh, hang on, that bit there has got grey on it. So let me just... Do I always like to start with the eyes? Um, yes. Yeah, on a new piece, I think getting the eyes in, it sort of, I don't know, it just sort of centers me. And if I can get the eyes right, then I'm happy to work on the rest of, the rest of the picture. I would hate to do the whole picture and then come to the eyes last and then not get the eyes right, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I do the eyes first and I work on them until I'm happy. And then I like to do the nose and then work our way out. <laughs> uh, you're the same when you do models, you always do the eyes first. Yeah, I think there's just something about it. And eyes being the window to the soul, so they say. if you can help capture the character or the expression half the battle is done I mean, at some point, I might go back to the the eyes, but for now, I'm happy with them. Sometimes, and I've I've said to everybody on here before, I can be happy with a section or think I'm happy with a section, and then I'll go in and I'll put something that goes around it, and realise that the eyes need to be brought out a little bit more, or they 
you know, just need a bit more colour adding or something, or a bit more shading. These guys know what I'm like. Yeah, I think so. Art is a bit back and forth. I think sometimes as well, you have to know when to stop. And that can be the difficult part. <laughs> There's always an ugly part in drawing. Like right now, I think that looks quite ugly because I'm just layering in the base colours and it's knowing that I can push past this ugly stage to get to the prettiest stage but then also at the same time knowing when to stop fiddling with something Trust the process, yeah. Yeah, I'm quite. I'm, I can see the face starting to form here, so this is this is good for me. Uh, no, I don't use normal paper. Um, if you used something like um, normal printer paper, it's such a smooth surface it won't take the amount of layers that um, coloured pencil needs. So I use a Bristol board, Strathmore Bristol board vellum. Um, 270 GSM that's my normal paper that I use so it's got it's got quite a nice it feels smooth but it has actually got a tooth to it and so it allows me to lay down lots of layers without there being like some papers you can get that are made of cotton like the Fabriano Artistico paper it's made of cotton so it's almost weaved and you can see like the ridges on it and sometimes the ridges are helpful for animal fur and texture and things like that but 
I find it takes so much more working, it requires so many more layers. I've just always got on with the Bristol board better. Oh, I've not tried the pastel mat yet. I mean, that's meant to be very good for the layering. Pastel mat is meant to be very good. I think I also want to try the um, the drafting film. I think that would be a nice one to try. Yes, you can get a lot of pigment down on the on the pastel mat. saying I'm going to buy some. I never quite get round to it. I've got some of the, uh, the Fabriano black black paper. That's interesting to draw on. make everybody happy. There's a little bit of purple in this nose, just as an undertone. Sienna as well. need this brown.
So what's everybody doing today? Are you doing anything? Has anyone got anything planned? Your day's over at 7 p.m. here in Australia. Oh, you're in Australia. Oh, okay. No plans today. Working, but did take tomorrow off. So a three-day week. Oh, lovely. Did you have a three-day weekend last weekend, Faisal? Oh, Sunday was your national day. Oh, okay. This is very, very short fur on the top of the nose. So I'm just going to. Almost like the fur that was on the top of that donkey head that we did. So it's going to need very delicate handling. Sort of like. side of the nose it sort of swings out here there's a darker section here and this part of the nose is quite Here and here. 
got a very dark shadow in this section here so I'm just sort of mapping it out just so I know where it is on the face before I go in quite heavy. It's almost like a little section here that sort of swings around. It's part of this whole section that will then actually it curves up and becomes part of this eye if that's perfect okay so I've got that line in cool 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 so if I come out from this eye it might make more sense to do it that way across here need this bit in the eye has always got like a little purple tinge to the dark chocolate you see it a lot I had it on the caracal as well And Derek as well, let's not forget Derek. He's the purple around his eye too. sweeps under this eye. grey through that brown and drags it down into the colour nicely.
I go in with a variety of browns under this eye and then when I use the slice tool afterwards it will pick up the different browns because there's a lovely mix under this eye. looking pretty. I'm very pleased with this now. Just make sure that I line a bit. Let's get some some lighter browns in there. I love these chocolate points I'm users. I always said to Nick and the kids that if we ever had another Siamese, because we used to have one of these, is I'd quite like to get a solid black one with uh, the blue eyes like this. I think a solid black Siamese would be beautiful. With those blue eyes against that black fur would be stunning. Absolutely stunning. Let me just sharpen the point on this because I need a really fine point now. taking all the lines in the same direction but just sort of gently crisscrossing over them to mirror the way fur would be. sections here. I think that's 
that's not too bad for two hours work so far so there we go so I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today guys thank you so much for joining me um, as always pleasure to spend this time with you um, thank you to uh, everyone for joining me welcome to the new followers and I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow have a good day guys bye